My mom asked me a question about the smartphone daily usage. Watch what on average we do on our smartphone. So let's let's figure it out the short list, shall we? Uh, well, hello, this is Frankie. He's going to help me with the with creating the list. Frankie? Anything? Okay, never mind. Good boy. Hi everyone, Claudia here, and we will create a short list, or I will try to create a short list, and, but if you have something additional to add to the list, please don't hesitate and add that into the comment section to that video. Let's do it. Number one, that's going to be very simple, answering and making phone calls and video calls. And right away, I asked myself a question, how often do I actually do phone calls? either answering phone calls or making phone calls. And you know what? I don't do that that often. Maybe you do. I somehow don't. I'm scared of answering phone calls. I prefer to text someone. Send me a text message. I will have time to think about the answer. I will text you back. No worries. But that ringing sound of the phone. Oh, no, no, no. Number two, those are emails creating, sending, receiving emails so easy on the smartphone. Uh, you have your smartphone on you all the time. So if somebody sends you email, you can hear a notification sound if you choose so. And then uh, you can check that email right away or answer it if you, if you are so kind to answer emails right away. So number three would be calendar. And uh, that would be scheduling, rescheduling, re-rescheduling. <laughs> And I love calendars because that keep me uh, somehow organized. So I'm somehow in control of the events that I supposed to attend or I created. But also the great thing is you can share those calendars with other people. So if you create eventing on your calendar, you can share that with others and vice versa. So that works very well. Number four, it's all about the notes. Taking notes editing notes, deleting notes, any type of notes. So for example, if I'm thinking about writing a blog post or maybe writing a recipe because somebody shared with me, whatever that might be in a form of notes, I will just create a note on my smartphone. So again, it doesn't matter where I am, as long as I have internet connection on my phone, I can do it. I will just take a note, create it, write it. I can share with others if I want to. And then whenever I need to use it, it's ready there. So I don't have to remember about that stuff. Usually I won't remember. So that's why I'm taking notes. Number five on my list, that's navigation. And I love maps. Navigation is so useful. Helps me to get from point A to point B, from point A to point Z through the whole alphabet. Whatever you are using, Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, whatever applica navigation application that is, helps you just to get to your destination and you can select whatever route you want. You can select, you can save different locations for later if you want to go somewhere later, but now you have the address, just put it there. You can share your location with others if you choose so. So navigation, you have all those maps that we used to have in a car, like stack of maps. Now everything is on your phone. That's great. I mean, obviously. Number six on my list, that's shopping. So let's talk about spending money. You have access to so many applications that allows you to purchase something from those big ones like Amazon or eBay to smaller ones, but it's all about shopping and shopping by only using your smartphone. How easy can that be? I mean, it's very easy. All you need is, well, money to spend, and then you need your smartphone to use that shopping application. But that's how simple it is nowadays to shop. You don't have to go to the store, nor just sitting wherever you are, internet connection on, and you use your phone and buy or sell whatever you want. But again, you need money to do that. Number seven, banking. Because you already spend money on shopping, now you have to check your bank statements and you have to check your bank account if you have any money left because of that shopping spree. 
So you have easy access to check your bank statements or maybe your investments, whatever that might be. Banking online, very popular, and it's on your smartphone, accessible. Number eight, that's all about traveling. You can purchase your airline tickets, you can, uh, you can book a trip, you can uh, cancel your trip, you can rent a car, you can buy a holiday on the cruise ship. I, I have no idea, whatever you do traveling, but also there are several different applications that helps you to explore the location that, that you are visiting. So for example, like recently National Parks Service created an application where you can explore all those national parks here in the States and you can pick and choose where to park, maybe camping, uh, what to explore, what to see, times of operation, whatever that might be, go ahead and you can check it. And I love some of those applications because while traveling, you can uh, just explore. Number nine, that's entertainment. Yeah, that's a very broad topic because under entertainment, you can start with, I don't know, games on your smartphone. Yes, because Candy Crush, it's still up and running. Whatever game available on a smartphone is, you can, uh, yeah, you can play entertainment. That would be also watching your TV shows. If you have that streaming service subscription to either Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV Plus, whatever, you can watch it on your smartphone. Is it kind of a small screen for watching a movie? Yes, it is. But if you are somewhere outside of your house and you don't have neither your tablet nor a huge TV available, at least if you are dying to see that latest episode or whatever show you love, you can watch it on your smartphone. And of course you can check a whole bunch of videos on YouTube and you are good to go. Number 10 taking pictures. Go for it. Take as many pictures as you want. Delete those that you don't like and keep those that are just phenomenal according to you. Number 11 videos. The same thing. Record as many videos as you want. I mean, as much as storage on your phone allows you. So record them, delete them, keep them, share them with whoever you want. Number 12, that's editing. Editing that, those photos that you just took or videos that you just recorded. You can edit them because there's a whole bunch of applications, video and photo editing applications that allows you to do that. And you can make those pictures and videos even more gorgeous. And again, send them to your friends, send them to your family members, publish them somewhere online so other people can enjoy it or delete because you just don't like them. Yeah, that's good. Number 13, news. You can check, read newspapers, magazines on your smartphone. You can check updates every time you open news application. And either those are on the local level or national or global. You have such easy, simple, right away access 24 seven to the news, which is like amazing because you know what's happening. It might be also very depressing because some of the news are so depressing, but hey, you know what, at least what's happening all, or, all around you. And again, on a level, like local level, national level or global level, you have access to it, which is, I think, incredible. And you can check some of the news absolutely for free. Just follow and get applications of your local radio station or TV station. Or maybe you want to subscribe to specific magazines and newspapers. And then you will just pay that monthly subscription. Number 14, oh, let's talk about books. And either you can read books on your smartphone or use the option audiobooks. So just purchase or rent. Please remember that if you don't want to purchase a book or audiobook, uh, if you don't want to subscribe to uh, different audiobook platforms available out there, you can try and find your local library where you will be able online rent a book or audiobook. How awesome is that? It's just, and it's for free. Okay, I think you have to pay like a fee to get your membership library card and that's it. So yeah, check your local library. 
Number 15 are movies and I think I talked about movies when I mentioned entertainment so you can watch all those movies Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Apple TV+, Plus, HBO, whatever you like so you can watch it as well on your smartphone. Again the downside of this is a small screen and if you love whatever show out there and you cannot wait any minute longer just watch it on your smartphone. Number 16 music and podcasts because podcasts are a big deal now so you can listening to music you can even purchase songs if you choose so or you can go with the music subscription services where you just pay a monthly fee and uh, you have access to so many songs different playlists you don't have to even create a playlist if you want to listen to a guardians guardians of the galaxy playlist i bet there is that kind of playlist on spotify with all those songs from the movie and uh, just sit down and enjoy or go for a run or do your workout or do some shopping and listen to some music <laughs> whatever you like also podcast you can pick and choose whatever podcast you like and you can listen into that whenever you want just using your smartphone that simple you have to just choose what you want Number 17, social media. You thought I forgot about social media. No, I did not. So you can choose whatever social media platform you want to use. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, TikTok, Snapchat. You have access to so many of them. And you can enjoy interaction with others. Or you can share whatever pictures, videos you want. Or you can watch what other people are creating. You can interact with them by publishing comments or you don't have to do it at all it's up to you but you have that option to do it so the huge social media um, and the environment is available out there and yes you are just using your smartphone to connect with all that wild world that's it 17 simple tasks that you can do using your smartphone and if there is something else that you are doing on your smartphone like application or feature that i haven't mentioned please share with us in a comment section. As always, stay safe, stay groovy. See you next time.